Okay, so in the earlier video we created five measures and to see those measures at work we actually added them to a matrix. And so this matrix shows us a variety of countries and the total transactions, the total measures, the total, sorry, the total sales, the total cost, the profit and the profit margin. Now some of these are very accurate and in an earlier video what we did is we formatted these to currency but we didn't actually say how many decimal places and that's the issue. I am going to click on the measure in my fields pane called total sales and start with total sales. Here is where I chose currency but I didn't change the decimal places. So I'm actually going to cut the decimal places down to two. Um, so I will just set that to two and what we see here is finally the decimal places show us two. Do the same for total costs. Total costs, decimal places, two. Probably easy to just click it. And then the third option is profit. Click on profit, change the auto decimal places to two so it's not so overwhelming. I could now increase the font size so on my visualizations pane I'll type font and there's the global font size, so this means it does it for everything instead of individual portions. And I might take the font size up to 18, just so you can clearly see what I'm doing. And then clear that. Okay, so that's our matrix there. I also could sort easily by country, just by clicking on the column heading that says sales territory country. If you wonder why it's not sorted by a country, just click the column heading. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is remove all the fields from the values bucket except for total sales. So I'm going to click on my um, option here, add data to your visuals. I want to get rid of everything except for total sales. So I'll kill total transactions, close total cost, profit and profit margin, and I'm left with total sales. So very easy to add things to your matrix and remove fields from your matrix. And these are all measures. Now what I'd like to do is add years to my columns so that my information is not only broken down by um, country, it's broken down by year. So in my sales territory table, I actually have, um, well, I don't actually have a year column. So I have to actually go to my date table or query, expand that, grab the year and drop it into columns. And so now you can see my information has been presented to me in years and I might just resize this so it's not so tall and then move it towards the bottom of the page and resize this as well. Okay let's now add a slicer because I want to know my sales by territory and by year but by various age groups or bands that we created earlier. So I'm going to go to my customer, well first of all I'm going to add a slicer. Click on a blank part of the report canvas on your visualizations pane, go for this button here, which is Slicer. That appears at the top here, and I can just resize a little bit. But what I'm wanting to do is close these. I'm actually wanting to look for my customer um, table or query, so I expand that. There's my age, but I'm looking for my age breakdown. And age breakdown, sorry, it's in alphabetical order. Um, last names at the top because there happens to be a space in front of that column heading or column name. That's not good. Age breakdown, I'm going to add that to my field bucket. And so here I can see my slicer showing me the age breakdown. Now I might format that visual in terms of the font size and globally take the font size up. Now there's no global option here so I'll just increase it. That's the heading. And that's the values. And then I'll just resize this and pop it, say, there. Okay, so what I can do now is I can actually click on any option and I can see the values change. So this is the sales by territory or by country, by year, and by those customers that were 55 years or older. These are the sales, um, much less. For the younger age group. So most of our sales are happening to the older age groups. Okay, now 